doing because you guys can't see. I'm just feeling down his spine. I'm looking for pain in the Western way, but I'm looking for what's called alarm points in an acupuncture way. That means they, certain points correlate to organs or systems. So when there's a reaction at certain ones, which he is reacting to the same ones, which is bladder 23, which is, um, so that would be L2, L3 if you're like, oh, where is he uncomfortable? But that's also the, the kidney um, point. Kidney governs bone in Chinese medicine. So sometimes that means like arthritis or spinal cord issues are, are going to be a, a primary concern. We'll be right there. Okay, that was good. Thanks for letting me do that. Your goal is to just not let him pop up. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, we're good. So we generally most most acupuncturists start with the same point right here. That's GV20 for us. It's like the the top. The, if you go to the highest part of your head and you press, it hurts. Press, freaking hurts. But it's really good. It's a calming point. It's an entry point. It's the gate point. It also opens up, you know, Chinese medicine has meridians, right, that are, you know, energy running through the front or the back or all these different directions. But if you're doing acupuncture along a certain meridian, you can open up energy along that meridian. So this point can be treating a spine issue down below. So that's what's nice about it. You don't always have to, you can use local points, but you can also use meridian points for the same concept. Can you go running into a unicorn? <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Look, it doesn't, he doesn't even, he didn't even. Yeah, they, they definitely feel it, and it can hurt. Like, if you guys ever had acupuncture before, sometimes, like, you, your body lights on fire, and you want to, like, fly off the table six times. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the person, their problem, their, their, their constitution, which is their personality type. You know, so, I call them zingers, but, oh, yeah, we hit them. Like, sometimes their first time... Let's say he does have a real L2, L3 issue, and that's there in like really low sacrum is where he reacted the most. So, um, you know, sometimes depends on their temperament. If they're more, he's not that nervous. You know, he's pretty, he's pretty good, right? So, I would go for it because I'm that person. But <laughs> if he were more nervous, I would skip that one point in that one area, and I would do more meridian points or other points that help with kidney issues, which is bone issues in Chinese medicine, and come back. That's um that's Bachwe. That's the point that is where our lumbar spine meets our sacrum. But we call that anatomically the lumbosacral junction. So that's a really helpful point for them. Oh, so I, I, I went for it today. This is what happens when you go for it. And that's back pain, right? So now you realize the difference between a sore point and not. Okay. Okay. If I were a little more conservative, I would have skipped it, but we did it. But it's okay. He's going he's gonna to relax. And, you know, and for all those, like, drug-like effects for acupuncture, it takes several minutes. Yeah. I call it like they go into, like, the zone where they're not really looking at anything, and they're like, should I fall asleep or should I stay awake? And they're like, they go to that place. <laughs>